My name is Brandon Atkin. On my way to Arizona, I stopped at my old school, Williamsfield, and I was like, this is a great school. And I saw Bigfoot. The curious one was Bigfoot. He was in, like, the line, just sitting right there, just right there. It was really so creepy. So he looked at me, and he didn't even, like, I was just, me, and he went to Williamsfield. So I was like, Williamsfield, Williamsfield, I got this. Um, so yesterday I got kicked out of my mom's house, as you can see I'm pretty much mad at her right now. Uh, there was a job opening for finding Bigfoot, so I got curious about it. So I needed the cash out, because obviously I got kicked out of my mom's house, so that's pretty much it. I just took the job. I don't believe in Bigfoot, um, because, um, and yet, I'm actually looking for, uh, for a college tradition. Uh, if I, I've been looking for Bigfoot, and I haven't seen him, and I really don't believe him, because I haven't seen him around. And, uh, that's the next one. We don't really know much about our friend Sebastian's story. You see, he always wears that hug thing, it just bugs me. It's like Darth Vader, like, like he keeps going like We have asked some local people what they have seen, and now we found some actual eyewitnesses. We go to them. It was like any other Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I usually wake up from school, get myself a banana, gotta get potassium, it's good for the body. I'm walking just across campus, just rocking, you know, got my, got my truck over there at park, walk through the fence, and I walk over into the office. But this is not a normal walk to the office. Here's the thing. It was so big. It was just, it was like, I don't know, eight feet, nine feet tall. It, it, it looked at me. It did, it, it turned and looked at me. It was walking away down that way and it turned and it looked at me and it saw I had a banana. It did. I could tell what it is. So I just ran inside the office and I couldn't stop looking at it and it couldn't stop looking at me. It kept looking at me. It's like it knew and said, I'm gonna find you. It was, it was much, it was too much. And the banana wasn't even that good actually that day, I should have given it to it. It was all mushy, you know the mushy bananas? I don't like mushy bananas. I like it preferably like if they're a little bit brown. Not green, green bananas aren't good. This one's a good one, not mushy at all. But I hope, I hope someone finds that thing. We tried to interview Coach Campbell. He denied it. I think it's because you know something about the Bigfoot sightings. I sense it. My name's Jim. Jim Belongs. And this is my story about Bigfoot. So, I was walking in the Albanian, Turanian, Tretz, Alcanian Mountains. Sounds like a scary place, huh? Well, it is. I was swinging, swinging like Tarzan the monkey boy, on vines. Not any vines, ropey vines, like the ones at playground when you had to climb up and slide down and your hands get all red. They was like me, and it was cold, blistering cold. I had blisters in places the blisters should not be, and you know, so I'm desperate for some heat. I couldn't make a fire, I never went to Boy Scouts. I grew up in Detroit. So I was, you know, I was gangbanging. But that's another story, and I'm not going to get into that. Anyways, so I see this big fur piece, and I'm like, I could grab that and put that on my chest, because I don't grow chest hair yet. So I'm like, huh. Warmth, right? That's what I'm thinking. But I walk up, and I grab it, and it's a foot. A big foot. Literally, it's big foot. And he gets up, and he grabs me by the left nipple. And he says, boy, Here's your options, he says. I'll either rip this off and you can go clean, or I'm gonna kill you where you stand. And I'll say it. Rip it off! Rip it off! This pop came off. Like one of those things where you push it in, put it on the ground, it flies up. That was that flung on a tree. But yeah, so they call me they call me left nippleless Jackson now. 
We placed lots of cameras everywhere so we can get thousands of shots. Some of them, we didn't get anything. Others were disabled or malfunctioned. Where'd you see Bigfoot? Right there. I don't believe it. Bro, see Bigfoot. It. See it. What's in there? Did no. What's in there? There's no this way. Let's go. The last trace. I think we should do a night search. Dun -dun -dun. For conclusion, Bigfoot does exist. We have clear evidence of that. Bigfoot jumped out and we uh, lost sight of him. But there's one good thing that I can say, and that's the only thing that a pig can say, and that is, that's all folks. Ah. Oh.